Welcome guys, in this video we will be looking at how to identify the unsaturation and the parent chain in an organic compound so that we can name it properly. So let's check them out one by one. First the unsaturation. Unsaturation is easy. All you need to do is to look out for the double lines and the triple lines in the diagram. I will show this with an example. Let's see if we have something like this. There are no double or triple lines in the entire compound. So that means there is no unsaturation. And if you recall, in such cases we add an AN in the name. Now let's look at this. We have a double line right here. So this is an alkene and in the name we will write EN right and if we something like this then we have three lines here the first line second and third this indicates that this is a triple bond so in the name we will write a YN okay now the thing to note is we can have more of these in the compound for example, if we have something like this and a double line here and a double line here, then we have two alkene groups present in the compound. And so we will write EN but add a di to it because there are two. If there are three such bonds, then we will write tri and so on. Let's take another example. Let's draw like this and we have a double bond here and let's get one here. So now we have three double bonds in this compound. You can identify them right. It's very easy. One is here, the second bond is here and the third double bond is present here. So we'll write EN for the double bond and since there are three, we will write tri N. Got it? The interesting part is when the double bond and triple bonds occur together. For example, in this compound, here is a double bond and let's have a triple bond here. Now how do we name this compound? Should we call it an alkene or an alkyne? So the IUPAC rules suggest that when you have both the double bond and the triple bond present in the compound, then the compound should be named as an alkene. That's right. The alkene gets priority over the alkyne. Now that we know how to identify the unsaturation in a compound, let's look at how to identify the parent chain. In the first video of this series, I told you that the parent chain is that sequence or that series of carbon atoms that has the largest number of carbon atoms with the functional group attached to it. Let us make it clear with some examples. I have something like this with me. There are no functional groups. So in order to identify the parent chain, I'll start counting all the possible paths that I can take. Let's see. I start from here. 1, 2, 3 and 4. If I moved straight forward, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So I see that this chain is longer than this chain. Therefore, the parent chain for this compound will be as shown. Let's take another example. But this time, I will attach an OH here. Once again, if I start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4. And if I move straight forward. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this chain is the longest one. But the functional group is attached to the chain 
as shown in the figure. Therefore, the parent chain for the compound will be the chain that is attached to the functional group. So what should you keep in mind? It is not always the chain that has largest number of carbon atoms. We take that chain as the parent chain which has the largest number of carbon atoms and is attached to the functional group. So being attached to the functional group is a priority here. So guys in this video we learned about how to identify the parent chain as well as find the unsaturation present in an organic compound. If you found the video useful please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. You can also drop your comments below the video so that we know how to help you more. This is Abhijit from BustingJEMain.com. See ya!